Have you ever been in a park watching a really cute couple making out, wishing it was you, but it can't be you because you were born with a penis? Is that relatable? Oh. Shit, I'm late. Hey, I have to explain this really quickly because I'm late for a date. I'm Andy and I'm trans. I know I don't look like I'm trans, but I am trans thanks to early medical intervention and being malnourished as a kid. So yeah, I'm a transformer. Ooh, transformers, robots in disguise. Oh, you probably haven't heard of that before. Well, transformers are an insult for trans women because we've been accused of deceiving men. But I want to reclaim that. One, transformers are fucking awesome. Two, I can't help it that your dick likes me. That's between you and your willy. So yeah, it's a lot, you know, all of the judgment and all of the questions and all of the empathy. But, you know, I can't possibly tell every guy I meet on a date that I'm trans. So I have a three date rule. On the first date, we get coffee because I don't want to end up dead under some hotel bed in Jericho. I look really good under a bed. Okay, I get it. Not telling everyone is dangerous. It can lead to angry men, kill, kill, murder, murder, angry men, red rum. Sorry. Oh, Andy? Tall guy. Yeah. Shall we? Okay. Pro for that, or do you like more like the old school stuff? I'm a Gemini, so I don't okay. like, I want to lead, but then also I want uh -huh. you to lead, so uh -huh. it has to be a partnership. Right, right. But then there's like an inner conflict that's like going on here. There, you think so? Maybe. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm a little bossy, but then also I'm like a lady. The second date is a dinner date. Something a little casual where I can pick their brains on LGBT topics. Not to spook my tea, but so I can make sure they're not the gay panic defense type of guys. Because, who wants to secretly date a transsexual? Date guy one. What do you think of marriage equality? Hmm. I mean, I think that everyone should marry who they love. Have you ever been to the Pride Parade? No. It's not my place. I don't know. To be honest, that kind of stuff is um, not for me. I'm cool with transgenders playing sports with cis women. It's not a big deal. It's not like anyone watches women play sports anyways. Trans people are fine. I just wouldn't let my kids be trans. If a gender's in a spectrum and anyone can be girly or manly, why can't you choose to be normal? Simply put, not into it. Oh, it's just like, I wish that we lived in a more truthful time. You know, when we weren't so censored by like woke culture, oh, what a gift to have lived in the time of, you know, Mark Twain or Ernest Hemingway. You shouldn't be canceled if you're right. Yeah, fuck cancel culture. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. Like, fuck it, man. Hey, you said it, I... Um, excuse me, too much wine. Oh yeah, go ahead, yeah. do your thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes someone makes it to the third date. Hey, Andy. And I have to tell them I'm trans. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Let's go. So you're into social justice issues. Yeah. What do you think about trans issues? I think that. Oh, well, I reposted something on IG about this, actually. It's, uh, Regarding, there's these two girls that are getting protested for trying to be on the women's track team, you know? Oh, yeah, that? I heard about yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? Should they be on the team? Yeah, I mean, like, why not? You know, as long as they're taking uh, 
What is it? They're, they're like these pills. They're made testosterone blockers. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I guess like the way that transgender people are being treated right now is kind of well, it is. It's horrible. It's not. It's not good. Wow, you are so progressive. I mean, thanks, but like, it's it's common sense. <laughs> Also, I think that you should be able to live and do whatever you want. I mean, as long as you're not hurting anybody, like... What? Um, so, how would you feel to be romantically involved with someone who's trans? Because... I'm trans? You're, you're trans. I think you might be scared my dick's bigger than his. I'm gonna fuck him. Hey, random stud guy. Hey, Andy? Yeah. You look even more beautiful in person. Thank you. I took my Instagram filtered photos to my surgeon. He did a really good job on my head. No complaints. Sense of humor, too. Hey, um, so do you look close by? Ah, uh, yeah. Down the block. Did I mention I was post-op? It means I have a vagina. A really nice one too. Says my OBGYN. She's my best friend. She's always going on like, your vagina's amazing. You have the best vagina in the world. I believe her. She's really popular. Tiny hands. And it's not like guys really know the difference. As long as you prep though. I know you're judging me. You're probably like, you have XY chromosomes. You should have told him before you had meaningless sex with him. But he got what he wanted. I rocked his world. And it doesn't matter anyway, I'm gonna go some. Where are you going? It's so late. I should go home. Uh, look. I know we jumped a few bases. But you should at least stay. We could watch a movie. Or I can make you something to eat. And we can just talk and hang out. What will we talk about? <laughs> Anything. The weather. Your job. What's your favorite movies? Do you have any siblings? 
I don't know. Your favorite color? Look, I just wanted to hook up. Wow. Really? That's all you wanted? Yeah. So I'm not your type? Um, no, you're not my type. Let me at least help you. been super understanding and I thank you for that you are not like them he tells me you are not like them they tell me I am not like them I tell myself but as I pass in and out of both worlds drowning in one and suffocating in the other why must I hold my breath in one while gasping for air in the other <laughs> <laughs> 